Hi, I'm Lee Teschler with Machine Design Magazine. Today we're going to talk with Anu Saha about uh, some demonstrations that National Instruments has done to uh, work with the Wii remote control and a robotic arm. Okay, well, Anu, what are we looking at here? Uh, what we're looking at is a clean room robotic arm that was developed by one of our engineers to uh, interact with a Wii remote that I have in my hand here. And the way it works is, is LabVIEW is used to, um, to read the signals from the Wii remote and then use the NI motion cards to actually control the robotic arm. And it's all done through LabVIEW as far as the communication and the sending on the motion signals and so forth. Well, can you uh, take us through a few moves of the arm? Yeah, sure. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to enable the, uh, the control here. And when I do that, when I, roll my, uh, when I roll the Wii remote, you'll see the arm will move out. And then I can roll it back, and the arm moves back. And then if I pitch it up forward, the arm will move up and then move down. And now it's able to uh, detect the angle of, uh, of motion, so the speed is uh, variable. So essentially, this is a slow movement and a faster movement. And also, we can uh, control the end vector. And what's nice is we can do multiple axes of movement at the same time. And so forth. Again, we think that this was a, a, a clean room model, so we would continue to add on to this. Uh, what we would like to see uh, us do is add our uh, smart camera uh, sensor on, on, the, on the end effector so that maybe it can identify and pick and place objects on the, on the table so far. So there's a lot of room for development on this demo. What kind of development process went into this? Well, this was a little bit unique in the sense that we had this robotic arm and we were real curious as to what we could do with it. Um, and there was a little bit of reverse engineering that had to happen to figure out what sort of signals uh, the arm took and so forth. There's stepper motors that drive each axis of the motor. It's a three axis arm on a single plane. Um, and essentially, the development process was first to figure out what sort of control signals does the robotic arm take. Um, and that was done in LabVIEW. And then the, the Wii interface was added a little bit afterwards to really finish off the whole demo. Um, so you know, adding a little bit of jazz to it to show, to show the, the, the expanded capabilities of LabVIEW being able to communicate via Bluetooth as well as talking to an industrial arm. What kind of computer hardware did you need? Um, right now what's running is a National Instruments PXI chassis which is running uh, Windows XP on it and it's right down there. And uh, in the computer we have a National Instruments motion card um, a four-axis motion card that is sending the control signals via Danaher uh, motion dri motor drives that we have. Um, and the motor drives are sending the actual signals to, the, to each of the stepper drives or stepper motors to control it. And what did you have to do exactly to uh, get this thing to talk to that Wii remote? Um, to talk to the Wii, uh, Wii uh, some LabVIEW enthusiasts have developed uh, the LabVIEW VIs and interfaces to talk to a Wii remote. And the way it works is, it, it is, is a Wii communicates via Bluetooth. So in the PXI chassis, we have a Bluetooth adapter, and LabVIEW is able to receive and send signals via that Bluetooth adapter. Uh, you've got an LCD display here. Can you tell us exactly what it is we're looking at? Uh, what you're seeing on the display is essentially uh, the, the chart that you see down here are the, ax the, the three axes uh, of the accelerometer that's in the Wii. And essentially, if you depending on which way you roll. So if you roll the Wii, then you can see the x-axis is, is uh, moving. And then if you do the pitch, you can see the y-axis is moving. So each, each motion has, uh, has a different axis of movement that the accelerometer is measuring. And LabVIEW is able to read that back and, and graph it and show it.